Guys, this company is so amazing. And I think the number one thing I want to share with you is that I feel like for those of us that really get the mission of Live Good, it is so much easier to work this business. When you see where this company is going, when you understand the difference between Live Good and all the other network marketing companies out there, it's different. You do it differently because you see the difference and you, you become passionate and you believe in it and you don't become distracted anymore. Uh, it, it's almost like the best way I can explain it to you is when you're going from company to company, it, it's almost like when you're dating, you know, you're dating different people and they're all lame and you're just kind of like in and out of relationships and you get into the habit of being distracted because it's so hard to find the one. And then all of a sudden, you find the one and you're like, I'm so madly in love that I, I will never get distracted again. And I think the only way to have massive success is when that happens for you. When you fall madly in love, when you understand the mission, when you fall in love with the leadership, the owners, when you understand how amazing these products really are, when you understand that we don't have just funny stories, because that's what MLM became over the years. It just became a phony, not even funny, but a phony story. You know, oh, this ingredient that comes from this special place and this special process of extraction of this product. And that's what MLM became. It was not, it's almost like a bad joke. And people fall for the stories and then they overpay for these average products because they believed the crazy story. So when you understand that we don't have stories here, we have facts, we have, we have the real deal. We have, you know, something that we already know, like it's a multivitamin. We don't need to tell you a funny story or a phony story about a multivitamin. You know what it is, you know what it means, you know you need it. And then you go look at the ingredients and you compare ingredients and you realize that we do have superior quality compared to everybody else on the market. And then you look at the super greens and the super reds and you realize there's no other like it on the market. I was buying um, on Amazon. I have bought green vibrance, uh, green juice by Organifi. I've been taking greens for many, many years. And then you go compare and you realize ours is better. And then you realize that ours is $18 and Green Vibrance is 80 or 90, depending on the day or the mood they're in. And then you realize that Green Juice is 70, but ours has higher quality. So when you learn to truly fall in love with what we have here, uh, to the point where you, you have like a healthy obsession with what you're doing, and you're never going to look to any sides ever again, that's when you have the chance of becoming a top earner. Um, you know, I love that the company doesn't terminate you. They did, don't get mad at you if you go do something else on the side. But I promise you in the history of network marketing, there has never been a top earner who was promoting different companies and different products. Because just like your marriage deserves full attention, your company deserves full attention. If you're gonna go cheat on your spouse, you're not going to have a great relationship. You may still manage somehow, but it's not going to be great. It's the same thing in network marketing. If you are fully committed here, then you can make this amazing for yourself. But if you're getting distracted and you're pr promoting different things, it's okay. You can, but then don't complain that you're not a top earner because to become a top earner, you need to be all in fully committed. You need to show up for everything. You need to stay close to the fire. You need to know what's going on. You need to be the one that learns to troubleshoot everything because uh, a, an old mentor of mine used to say that your paycheck is directly related to your ability to fix problems, your ability to come up with solutions. So if you are the person who has all the solutions, you have a big paycheck. So you wanna become that person. Like I always tell my husband and I love it. I don't mind at all. I get up in the morning and I usually have between WhatsApp, my text messages and Facebook messenger, a hundred messages every single morning when I wake up at 7 a.m. That's what I have waiting for me and I love it because that means I'm gonna get the big paycheck. It's kind of like a CEO of a company. 
you know, people say, oh, the CEO doesn't do anything. He may not work as much as everybody else because he's the CEO, but he solves all the problems. He has all the solutions. And that's the person you want to become. And to become that person, you have to be fully committed. How are you going to know everything? How are you going to know how to solve every problem? Because you're on every call. You know, when somebody reaches out to you and they say, uh, when is the Germany warehouse opening up? You know the answer because you are on the Friday fire starter call. Um, all the announcements, you know, how many people joined this week? You know all the answers because you are on the call. You took notes. So, you know, you become the CEO of the company, basically. You know everything that's going on. And that's attractive for people. It's also attractive when you show up as that live good person who's madly in love with live good. When people decide to join a network marketing company, they want to join who? The top earner. But how do you become a top earner if nobody wants to join you until you become a top earner? You act like a top earner. The first day that I um, joined live good, I decided I'm going to show up on Facebook today and I'm going to announce that I have joined live good and I'm going to announce it like a, like a top earner. I joined today. I'm obviously not a top earner, but I am before I get there. I already am. I act like one. I, I feel like one. So I came across as that person, that posture, that attitude, that you know, that attitude that is attractive. So I showed up and I said, hey, I just joined this company. It's different here. We don't have founders packs. We don't have starter packs. We don't have price gouging. We don't have auto ships. And I'm going all the way to the top with this. You can come along or not. But if you want, I'm going to take you with me. That kind of conviction and passion from day one that people are like, oh, wow, she's going to do this. I want to join her. From day one, if you come across as, you know, scary cat, like, well, you know, I joined this, we'll see, maybe, uh, maybe not. Nobody wants to join that person because they're like, oh, they're going to hop around. They're going to get distracted. They're going to be doing three, four companies at once. That's not who I want for my upline. That's not who I want for my sponsor. I want a sponsor who's fully committed, who's going all the way to the top, who's not going to allow anything or anyone to get in their way. That's who I want to work with. So that's who you want to be. That's how you want to come across to your family, your friends, social media. Then everybody is attracted to you. So moving into social media, now a little bit more of like how to. You want to be personable. You want to be authentic. You want to be you. Why? Because, and I think I, I talked about this yesterday at the fire, uh, fire starter call. I do so many Zooms. Sometimes I don't know if, <laughs> if I'm repeating myself. I'm like, did I say that yesterday? But you definitely want to be authentic because people like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. So the purpose of uh, Facebook or Instagram or any social media channel that you're in, like LinkedIn, the real purpose is for people to get to know you so they can like you and they can trust you. So you're looking for the lookers. You're looking for people that are looking for you. And not everybody's going to want to work with you. Not everybody wants to work with me. You're looking for the people that connect with you. They say it's a tribe, right? So you're looking for your tribe, for your peeps. So most likely the people that are going to like me are probably going to get, are going to be moms, uh, because they can relate to me. And maybe they're going to be about the same age. They're going to be in their late 40s to early 50s. And they're going to have teenage kids or college kids because they can connect, right? They're like, wow, she's like me. She's, you know, dealing with the same issues that I'm dealing with. She has teenagers. So you want people to connect with you. They want them to know you because then they can like and trust and feel like you are relatable. That's what social media is for. What social media is not for is a sales platform where we're constantly just placing links and links and links, like buy my product, buy my product, buy my product, because Facebook doesn't like that for starters. So Facebook begins to sabotage your page. So they don't show your posts to people anymore. Like two people see your post and then you get one like or two likes. So from, even if somebody wanted to buy your stuff, they're not seeing it because Facebook doesn't like it, especially when you put a link because now you're taking people off the platform. So it's okay to put a link, but if you put a link, you have to have your picture on there because that 
kind of like supersedes the link because Facebook loves your face because they have facial recognition. So when you have your face on a picture, they're like, oh, we like this post because we see her and we love selfies. We love photos because Facebook is a platform for you to engage. It's a social platform, right? It's a social media. It's all about being social. It's not about sales. We do use it as a sales platform, but that's not what it's all about. So you have to be discreet when you sell because if Facebook sees you as one of those people that like to sell and sell and sell and share links, they sabotage you. They're like, we hate this person. We're not going to show them to anybody. So you got to focus on building relationships. So yes, we do want to post you know, our links. But if you see my page, I always post my links at the very end. And I always have a photo. If you see Tim Miller's page or Des, you're going to see that they always post the link on the comments. So the very first comment on the top is the link. So those are the ways that you can post your link without Facebook targeting your page as a sales page and then destroying you and your algorithm is garbage and you're frustrated. You, you're like, why nobody ever likes any of my posts? You know, I'm posting the same thing that other people are posting. That's why. Something else that really helps your algorithm with Facebook. And I'm really going to focus on Facebook today because I have recruited in my five different accounts, 260 people because of social media. So I really want to focus on that and help you out with that today because I see very few people. I can probably count with my fingers here how many people I see on social media that are truly doing it correctly. 99.9% .9 of people are not doing it right, and that's why you're not having success. Uh, but something that really helps your algorithm is liking people's uh, posts, engaging, right? Because again, what does uh, Facebook like? They like for you to be social. They like for you to engage with people. So you got to go around liking people's post a uh, little tip secret for you guys hearts hearts facebook for whatever reason favors you when you put a heart opposed to a thumbs up so when you like uh, somebody's posts put a heart on there instead of just a, a regular thumbs up a like and then comment on it engage with them when you engage use more than five words. If you use more than five words, again, they boost your algorithm. They like you. If you are truly engaging, they know if you're just like, you know, hello. Okay. Like they know if you're just like, I don't really want to engage, but I'll just post something really quick. No, go on there and be like, well, Daz, that's amazing. I am so happy for you little heart, put a little emoji. So now Facebook knows you're truly engaging. You are who they are looking for on the platform. Uh, something else, guys, is creation. They like creators. That's what social media is all about. They want you to create the content. When you copy somebody's content and you put on your page, they know it. They know everything. They it's they're like the government almost. Like they know everything about you. You know, I go, I'm in Mexico right now, and you go through the border. I mean, they they know everything about you. You know, they they're like, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm going back to Chandler. They know on the computer that I live in Chandler, and that's Facebook. They know everything about you. They know where you live. They know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, you know how sometimes you're scrolling. Um, like I was trying to buy some boots on my phone, you guys, on my phone, on DSW uh, for the cruise, Des, because it's going to be cold with that AC. And I'm scrolling through Facebook and all of a sudden all I see are boots. <laughs> I'm like, they know I'm looking for a pair of boots. They know everything about us. So you want to make sure that you're doing all the right things on there. Create content. It has to be about you. Who are you? Why did you join Live Good? Pour your heart. Show people who you truly are. That's who they want to engage with. So why did you join? Where were you when you joined Live Good? Like what was happening in your life that gave you the desire to join this company? What was it about the company that brought you in? There was something in Live Good that, that caught your attention, that attracted you. So pour your heart out on social media because now you get people that are like, wow, I like her because I see her. I know who she is or who he is. I get him and I like him. Now it's somebody who's open to doing a business with you. Of course, they have, first of all, the person has to be open, right? I always say there's not right or wrong things to say to people. 
there's right or wrong people for the business. Like when I joined the business, I was blessed that I fell right under Des, but the girl that brought me in did not say hello to me. She did not send a message. She sent me a random link, 11.30 p.m. I was writing a real estate contract. I'm about to, to close down for the day. And I see this link popped up on Facebook. It was my last check on Facebook. And I clicked on it. And two minutes into that video with Ben Glinsky, I'm literally tripping over my garbage can in my office to grab my credit card. And I was literally like trying to go fast because they have such good marketing. And I saw that banner on the left with all the people. Once I created the free account, I saw all the banners of people popping up from all over the world. And as you guys know, my mom and dad are both from Brazil. And I spent, um, I don't know, a third of my life in Brazil. And I'm looking at the flags and I see Brazilian flags. And my dream was always to have a Brazilian team. And I'm literally tripping over and I couldn't enter the credit card fast enough because of the power line. It works. You know, the marketing behind it works. I know those people are not even under me, but they're joining after me. And there's a psychology behind that. And so with that said, this company is so different, is so special. And if you begin to really understand that fully, it's so easy to be committed. And now you got to use social media the right way. So pour your heart out and send messages to people on social media and don't focus on like every day I get messages from you guys and you say, is this good? Does this look good? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You really should not spam people like it was done to me. You should never just say, you know, don't send random links to people. Always ask for permission. I really believe that, especially when you're dealing with top earners, you always want to say, hey, are you open to taking a look at this? Because the person has to be in the right place and they have to be the right person, right? So you always ask, I would say, hey, Des, have you already taken the free tour with LiveGood? If you haven't, would you be open to it? That's a very polite way to get somebody exposed to what you have going on, you know? Uh, you can say, hey, Des, I don't know what you have going on in your life right now, but I had this incredible opportunity that came my way that came across my desk. And I want to know if you are in a place right now where you're open to taking a look at an opportunity. So that kind of engagement, okay? Now, I don't believe in, you know, making up small talk with people. I'm sorry. It, it, that's to me, I know there are probably 75% of marketers teaching that. There's nothing that annoys me more than when, when, when somebody sends me a message that says, hello, hello? I mean, I get over a hundred messages daily. What do you want? <laughs> Not to be rude, but what do you want? How can I help you? Just tell me what, just give me the message. I'm going to respond to everybody, but don't say hello. I used to say hello back and say, how can I help you? Now I'm like, I need to teach these people a lesson. If they say hello, I'm not answering. And you know why? Because 99% of the time when they say hello, those are the people that are coming to ask me if I want to take a look at their opportunity and they're trying to build a relationship. You can have a relationship with me if you are in live good. If you're not, there's no relationship. So I'm not looking to be your friend until you join my company. I don't care if you're on my team or not, because we are all a big family here. But until you are a live good family member, I don't want to chat with you. So don't say hello to people. Hi, how are you? Um, where do you live? How, excuse me? I have enough friends, okay? <laughs> We, we have 800,000 friends here. So if you are not in Live Good, so don't do that to people, you guys. Don't say hello. Hi, how are you? Where do you live? How many kids do you have? No, hello, how are you? Have you already taken the free tour with Live Good? Hey, how are you? I don't know where you are right now in, in your life, but are you open to an incredible opportunity? Are you open to taking a look at a new business model that is revolutionizing the home-based business, that kind of stuff, guys. That's what you say to people. And you say it up front. You're honest, transparent, up front. You don't met because to me, that's phony again. You know, when people are like, hi, how are you? Just be honest. If you want to offer me an opportunity, just offer the opportunity. Don't play games with me. 
what is it that you want, right? So do that. When you're reaching out to people, just be upfront. Ask what you want to ask. They may not respond. They may say no, but then you're not wasting their time. Most importantly, you're not wasting your time because I always feel bad for those people because I'm like, can you imagine how exhausting it is to be them? Because if they're saying that to me, they're doing that all day, every day with people, with random people online, talking to random people with no results. And that's why people say like, you really shouldn't be reaching out to people online because it's a waste of time. Yeah, if you're like saying hello and asking how their day is going, it's a huge waste of time. But if you're just copying and pasting a message that is straight to the point and it's a yes or no, you're not wasting time. It's actually one of the most effective ways to build this business. Now, here's the catch. Do not send messages to people unless you have a killer social media presence. You are wasting your time if you're messaging people and you have a lame social media presence because the first thing people do when you send them a cold message, who is this person? So they click to see your page. And if they get to your page and all you have is links, 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 you have no likes on your page, nobody's engaging with you, they can't tell who you really are, you have a picture of your dog on the little circle, you know, the profile circle, if you have, you know, your dog, your kids on there, or even your banner, it's, you know, something random, guess what? They're not going to want to do business with you. So now all you did was you gave me a new person because now they're going to go hashtag live good and they're going to start looking for different people in live good because they liked the idea, but they didn't like you. So, you know, I'm just being blunt guys because I want you to succeed. And I feel like a lot of times people tell you what you want to hear, but to succeed in life, you need a mentor that has the guts to tell you what you need to hear. So you need to have a page that looks like Des, Kelly, Jesse, you need a page like, look at Jesse and, and Kelly's page. Kelly, I love Kelly's page. So don't copy, but use as inspiration. Because if you copy exactly like Facebook already knows what my banner says, right? I say something like um, helping you um, achieve your dreams through membership marketing or something along those lines. So if you copy my page, Facebook knows they don't like it. They're like, uh, not a creator, a copier. We don't like copiers. So use other people's pages as inspiration, but not to copy. Use people's posts as inspiration, but don't copy because Facebook will sabotage you. And then you, it's not going to happen. They're not going to let, nobody engages because they don't show it to enough people. Okay. So to recap here. So you want to like people's pages every day. You want to uh, follow different people. So here's the thing. Send friend requests every day. I can't do it anymore because I'm maxed out at 5,000. I need to take the time during Christmas break to unfriend a whole bunch of people so I can have a new group coming in. So if you're not at 5,000, send friend requests every single day. Send strategic friend requests you want to work with people that are in business, that are network marketers, um, that are, um, let's say, what else? Um, I don't know. Any type of business groups, network marketing groups. Uh, what do I want to say? Oh, digital. Digital marketing, affiliate programs. You know, those are the people that you want to be engaging with and bringing to your page that you want to be sending friend requests to. Okay? So you're sending friend requests. You are engaging with people's posts. You're putting little hearts, not likes. Uh, you're wishing happy birthday. You know how Facebook gives you a list of everybody who's having a, a birthday that, that day. Send people a happy birthday. They love that. They're like, we love this person. Let's boost the algorithm. It's a little game that you need to play all day, every day with Facebook. And then there's stories and reels. Stories and reels are huge. But first, you got to master doing posts every day, being a creator, not a copier, using your selfies, using photos, post personal stuff, you know, in your stories. Like yesterday, I was driving to Mexico with my husband. So I'm like, hey, on my way to Mexico with my husband. So people get to know me. I'm married. I'm going to Mexico right now. I have condos here that I rent through Airbnb. 
Uh, you know, I have a 17 year old that you guys are never, ever, ever going to see a picture because I don't believe in that. <laughs> I don't have my, my, my kid has never been on social media, but I have a 17 year old. So, you know, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. I take pictures with my mom, you know, I go to church with my mom on Sundays. So that way people know that I go to church. I'm a Christian. So people need to get to know you because now if there's a Christian person, they know I'm also a Christian. We have something in common. Like I said, they have teenagers. I have a 17 year old, that kind of stuff. Recording so stopped. Once you have set up your your basic stuff on your page you know the posting the creation the friendships the happy birthdays once you have all of that now you want to master stories and reels do stories every day it can be something so simple and that's something i struggle with to be honest with you guys because i'm so busy i have the condos here that we manage we do everything you know managing housekeeping accounting the whole thing I have real estate trying to show houses, dealing with lenders and title companies. So I forget sometimes I go through my day and, you know, dealing with my 17 year old who's, um, you know, now he got accepted to ASU doing, helping him with all the process, you know, the vaccination card that needs to be provided. And it's so busy and everyone is, it's not just me. I know you're just as busy as, as I am. So it's hard to remember all day to be like, oh my God, I'm not, I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm not you know, in my twenties, I think for those kids, it's easier to all day be like, Oh, doing selfies. It's hard for me. So when I do selfies is usually on a Saturday, I do them all at once because I hate them, you know? So I, I'm like, okay, let's do like 20 selfies today. Let's curl the hair, do the makeup and let's took, take like 20 selfies. Cause I can't be like a teenager, you know, all day, like in front of the phone smiling. And then no, I'm busy. I don't have time for that. So Maybe you can do what I do, pick a day of the week, do the hair, the makeup, you know, the guys like fix the hair, whatever makes you feel comfortable in front of the camera and go do a whole bunch of selfies at once. If that helps you videos, if you can start getting comfortable in front of a camera, I'll tell you a secret, do a video and don't post, but start doing videos, do like 30, 40, 50 videos and do not post. One day you're going to be so like used to seeing yourself in front of the camera and watching your own videos that you won't care anymore. And then focus on the fact that when you do a video, it's not about you. It's about providing value to people because nobody cares about you. They care about what you can provide for them. So when you're doing a video, they're not sitting there going, oh, let me see if her hair looks good or her makeup. Nobody cares about that. When I watch videos, I'm never judging people. I'm judging the content. I'm like, are they get, are they going to give me some good information? Are they going to help my business? You know, are they helping me in any way? That's what I'm judging, but not, you know, their face or their hair or the makeup or whatever they're wearing, you know, wear a live good shirt. <laughs> um, I was actually thinking I need to cut my hair just so I can expose my live good shirt. But um so guys, get used to, to growing on social media, you know, creating a following, creating, uh, co you know, contacts, influence, you know, back in the day, it was the Rolodex, the thicker the Rolodex, the more success you had. It's all about how many people, you know, how many people that like you and trust you. So you've got to grow in social media. Reels are amazing. You can do and reels. If you do a slide with photos, they don't show it as much as a video. So again, Facebook algorithm playing with that reels, do a video. If you don't want your face on the video, do a video of yourself, like doing, creating a smoothie, like you're making a smoothie in, in the kitchen. It can just be your hands, you know, pouring the milk and fruit and the protein and the collagen, and then put music with it. So it's that simple reels. Facebook loves reels. So if you're doing reels on a regular basis, they boost your algorithm and stories. Just try to go with the flow, you know, throughout your day. I mean, like yesterday I'm driving here, I take a photo. Then last night we're in the jacuzzi. And honestly, it's kind of inconvenience for an old, older person. You know, if you're in your forties and fifties or, or older, it is super inconvenient to, I'm, you know, in the jacuzzi hanging out with my husband. I'm like, oh, I got to do a photo here so we can post on stories. Right. And he's, he's a, he's easygoing. So he's like, all right, let's do a photo. And we had fun with it. So try to kind of like stop, you know, whatever you're doing at that moment and take a photo, take, do a video, like 
whatever you're doing, you know, what else? Oh, we were at dinner. Um, and then we were at Santo Coyote here and they mix your salsa, you know, the way you want. They're like, do you want a spicy or this and that? And it's funny because my husband's like, oh, medium, but medium here, it's like hot. Like I'm going to die. I'm going to pass out. That's the medium. But then I'm like, you know, the ladies behind us mixing and I'm like, Hey, can we take a photo? and took a selfie with her. So just right there, I had three pictures for stories yesterday. So as you go with your day, think of moments that you can stop and take a quick picture and have fun with it. You know, that's all I can recommend. Guys, with that, it's been 40 minutes. I'm just going to tell you one last thing. Don't allow anything or anyone to get in your way. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You're never going to see something as amazing as live good ever again, because all the pieces are in place at the moment. It's not just a good product. It's not just a good leadership. It's not just a good compensation plan. It's not just a good business model. It's not just attracting the best people I've ever worked with in my life. It's not just the best culture. It's all of it. It's like the perfect storm. This is a dream come true for any network marketer. Don't get distracted. Pour your heart into this. Give your all. Never give up. Like Timbo says, GPS, get in, plug in, stay in, show up for things, become the person that has the solution for everything. You know everything because you are participating in everything. You show up for every Zoom. You, you are always on YouTube seeing what the owners are doing. Just stay in and commit to 24 months. Do not, I don't care how much success or how little success you have. I don't care if you're bronze or if you're diamond. Stay in it minimum 24 months because this is a real business. This is not a scam. This is not a get rich quick type of scheme where they're like, oh, put a thousand dollars and get 3000 out tomorrow. That's illegal. That's what that, that's what that means. It's illegal business. If it's put money, take money out. Uh, you know, the miracle weight loss product, the the banking card, those things are going to be short lived. This is long term. This is going to be here for your children, your grandchildren 20, 30 years from now. This is a genius business model and this is not something that people can copy for many different reasons, but the number one is Anyone who gets involved in network marketing as an owner is extremely greedy. I have never met a network marketing owner who is not extremely greedy until now. And nobody wants to create a network marketing company to make less than $100 million a year. That's how they operate. So Ben Glinsky is the first one that I've seen since 1998 who is willing to bring something to us where he's not making that kind of money. Nobody else is going to want to do it because they're greedy. So we're never going to see an opportunity as good as this one. Um, in real estate, it takes six months to 12 months to get your first paycheck. And that's somebody who's good. Okay. We're talking like the average person is going to be 24 months. Um, I have done all the mentoring and training in a brokerage with 4,500 people. So I know the numbers. And it's going to take 24 months if you have some people that come in and they are like the Jesse Garcia's of the world that come in and or the Tim Miller's, you know, in 45 seconds, they go to the top. Um, that's usually people that have been working on their um, influence, uh, their credibility for a very long time. So in real estate is the same thing. If they have been working on influence and credibility for many, many years, they come into real estate and they do it really fast. If they do it really fast, it's six months to a year to receive the first paycheck. So don't come into this and two weeks later say, I knew it was a scam. I still haven't made a million dollars because that's what we run into with people, right? They come in a month later, two months later, where's the 2000? Why am I not making money? Oh my gosh, I thought this was easy. And it is easier, but it's still a business. You still have to build influence. You still have to work at it every single day. So give yourself some grace, give yourself some time to grow, to grow your influence, to grow as a person, read personal development books every single day, read, you know, 10 pages of a good book every day, meditate, do affirmations, create a vision board. You know, we, we have to grow 
as people. Um, I know you guys all love Jim Rohn, you know, but he is the one that taught me that back in the late 90s. Don't wish for things to be different. We are the ones that have to be different. We are the ones that have to grow. And as we grow, everything around us grows with us. So we have to work on ourselves as much as we have to work on the business for things to work out. And it takes time to get there. So give yourself grace. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you are bronze or diamond, you have to be here 24 months from now. Don't look at your results, look at, at your activities. You cannot control whether somebody says yes or no, but you can control if you created a really awesome heartfelt post today on Facebook. So control your high payoff activities every single day, and eventually the results are going to come as you begin to grow a business. Then forget about yourself and your bank account. Focus on everybody else's. If you help enough people get what they want here, you will get more than you could have hoped for. So just focus on the people. The more you pour into people, the more you serve people, the more you help people to achieve what they want, the more success you're going to have. Take yourself out of the way.